Hello and welcome back to another Southerners video with uh, myself, that band Jermaine Walker and Tyler Jeff was one with Dow, as always, at one service. Today's going to be a bit different for us. We're testing out two budget hotels in the UK. We're doing a Premier Inn versus Travel Lodge. We're going to sort of review them on price, on uh, amenities, comfortability, anything I've missed? Breakfast, obviously. Yeah, breakfast, of course. Um, obviously, I think we've hit all the key ports. Obviously, comfort of the rooms, the style of the rooms. And uh, tonight, we're starting with the Premier Inn. See if this room is uh, up to the standard of our previous Premier Inn stays. Lights, camera, swashbuckling action. Ah, uh, yes. Kind of. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, that's not a twin. Uh, we're going to have a word later. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to pop down in a minute. Yeah, but I did look a twin, not a twin. Yeah, double. I know, I know. Um, funny. This is not this, gonna be our sleeping arrangement. Yeah, this doesn't help my argument of we're not dating when there's a whoops. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The crumbs. <laughs> uh well, well let, let's Sorry head... Premier Inn to let you down, but I think you've got the wrong end of the stick. Let's head back and say uh, we put the twin in the Yeah. Round two. Time for round two, room 103 this time. Second time lucky. Let's hope that when we do third time tomorrow at the track, it will be third time for charm. And... There we go. Much better. That is more like it. Twin room. So. <sighs> As your box standard, teas, coffees, We've got some extra milks. Because I like my tea and coffee milk tea. And I like to just drink the milk. So you've got your hair dryer, full length mirror, uh, clothes hangers, extra pillow, I believe, up there. Sort of white. And a kind of small ish, but still very usable bathroom. It's very. It's quite clean, at least it's clean. And I appreciate that quite a lot considering we stayed in a couple of not so desirable hotels in the past. Hello. Hello. So, first impressions? So far so good. Good. <laughs> Wait, hold on. As you're filming, Matt, I'm just going to pause my filming. Nope. Oh. Right. I think I should have the honours I've paid for this hotel and you do yeah, the honours um, Yeah, and I'm also kind of half crippled a little bit right now, so you go ahead. Uno, dos, one, two, three, cuatro. If you get the song, you know what I mean. Oh, yes. How is it? Oh, that is that soft Premier Inn feel. I like it. And the bed's firm. We found the blue light. Oh, you can't love a bit of mood lighting. It actually is, looks blue through the camera lens, but I'm looking at it and it's bright purple. And I'm colourblind, so it looks blue. Heading... So we're just heading down to the restaurant. And this is pretty cool, right? Because you can get to the restaurant from the outside. But if you're staying here at the Premier Inn, you just come around here. That is the entrance to the reception. And if you just follow this way, this is the entrance to the pub and restaurant. So, even if you have a nice, cold, windy winter's day down here in Christchurch, you don't have to leave the building just to go get yourself dinner. So, dinner was astounding. The food here has been incredible. Honestly, great value if you get to stay in a premier inn they give you an option to take the offer we did mm -hmm. dive in it was 25.99 we got two courses we went with the main and dessert specifically considering we got a pint of beer each yeah considering the main and dessert together would have cost that 25 26 pound mm -hmm. we've had a really really good deal and obviously breakfast is included we'll be having that in the morning yeah now, I personally have never stayed at a travel lodge. I don't know if I've mentioned this already. If I have, ignore me. But I'm curious to see how they hold up. Now, we've stayed in many Premier Inns. Yes, we have. On the channel and off the channel. Um, but, you know, I am I'm curious to see how they both hold up. Yeah, I've done travel lodge in the past, but I've never had a chance to really put travel lodge and Premier Inn side by side and said a proper pros and cons. 
obviously you're always going to have your mitigating factors that will swing one each way or the other but we're just only going to focus on these two locations in our local area at the same time one day after another and we'll get back to you with a proper review at the end so let's catch up in the morning and with that we should say good night see you in the morning So me and Matt are just about to order, I've just ordered breakfast. This is the complete menu. Everything's included. So you just have to pre-order the cooked stuff. Then all this stuff in here is buffet. You can just go up and grab it. Which we will be doing in a minute. That is the look of a determined man. <laughs> So when I have the eggs, I've got to save the yolk for the last bit, and I can't cut it up, I can't dip it. It's got to go in one. Guten Tag, everybody. So final little bits of the Premier Inn before we head out and go over to uh, Christchurch Saxon Square's uh, Travel Lodge. We've just done a little bit of maths. Um, we paid £35 for the room at Premier Inn, plus £25.99 per person for the two meals, the main the meal dessert, day. the drink, and the breakfast per person. Um, that all together comes up to 86 98 And if we split that down the middle, because there's two adults, mm -hmm. that's £43.50, basically, for which, uh, which I don't think is too shabby. That is a pretty decent deal. Now, I don't know if Travelodge do main meals or if they do a proper breakfast. I've seen from an email <laughs> they sent me that they do um, a breakfast on the go for five fifty. Again, I'm not sure we'll ask when we get there. If they do a main breakfast, I think we should get that as a comparison. If not, then... We'll go what they got. Yeah. I haven't stayed in Travelodge since 2022, and even then, when I stayed with them, I had a premium room, and I didn't pre-order the breakfast. I went somewhere else for my breakfast. Mm. So I'd be interested to do the proper experience and see what they have to offer versus Premier Inn. So far, Premier Inn is very much a very good hotel stay, but doesn't compromise on the price. Absolutely. The comfort was brilliant. I want to take this bed home. Um, I'll probably take the double bed though with, with Zeus, of course. I'm, I'm enjoying this uh, it's, purple it's, mood lighting. It, oh, yeah, I love that. I should probably I should probably install this at home as well, yeah. I, I, it's blue or bluey pink. I can't see it properly because I'm colourblind. Anyway, um, so we shall catch up with you at the Travel Arch later on this evening. We're in the travel lodge, we're just heading to our room. We've checked in and we are ready to go. Key cards on the go. And we've pre booked breakfast, but that's another matter. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Mm, okay. Interesting. Right, um, two, two, three. We'll catch up with you in the room. Oh, here we are. Room 223, this is our digs for the night. Here we go. Sure, yeah, that way. Yeah. Well, you and hotel rooms have not a good reputation of it. Okay, so. Okay, so. Give us a twin. Oh, okay. This is not okay, quite. This is pretty on par with the Premier, except this is not exactly a very good view. Oh, let's see what the uh, view is. We are on the second floor. Huh. I can see into someone else's room over there. Charming. Very charming. Interesting. Um, kind of gives me like a private hospital view, room kind of vibes, especially with this bathroom. We'll put our stuff down, have a proper look around, and then we'll get back to you in just a moment. Right, um, while you go for a piss, I'm going to give you some privacy. Ah. There's no lock. Oh, no. Oops, found that. Okay, Matt, you paid for this room, so therefore you get the honours. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, dear, he should... 
<laughs> no, I've done ah. that. <laughs> this was not as soft as Premier <laughs> Oh, he felt that when he felt it. Oh, yeah. So we're just about to head out for the evening. Now, the uh, issue with this travelodge right now is there isn't actually have a restaurant. They, they haven't got a restaurant at all. So we are going to head out to probably a pub on the high street or something to grab a, a drink and a bite to eat. Um, we have ordered breakfast for the morning. It's going to come in a little box. I've no idea what's going to be in the box. I suppose we'll but find we out But we shall more. do a review. We shall. All right, after a decent bit of dinner, back in the hotel. We're going to head out for a pint later. No bar, no restaurant. So we're gonna have to go externally. However, we have some snacks and I have gone for a walnut whip. I'm gonna have one of these and the other two are gonna have one each later. And a very good morning to you all. So. Well, how did it go for you? Because this is your first time in a travel lodge. Uh, personally, I didn't sleep all too well. I kept waking up throughout the night. Um, it was either I was I was overheating or I was too cold because the, the the duvet had slipped away from the main cover and it was it was a bit odd. How about yourself? Uh, on that little cot. Well, that's all right. Bed was a little on the hard side. It wasn't as soft as the Premier Inn. I've got a little bit of an ache in my middle back. Yeah. But that'll disappear later today. Yeah, we'll get get moving around. We'll get walking and we'll be all right. Personally, I'm starving. <coughs> Looking forward to breakfast. Speaking of which, Banjo Man. Right, so, uh, Travelodge here in particular, I don't know about any others, they don't have a restaurant. So what they do, they provide these breakfast boxes. On the go. Now apparently, inside of here is one apple juice, one semi-skim milk, cornflakes, pan au chocolat, and a flapjack oat bar. Uh, so overall, for Travelodge, I think we paid thirty seven ninety nine. Uh, for the room and an, an additional eleven pounds five fifty each for the box, which is around, if my maths is correct, about fifty or pounds, which is thirty or thirty nine or so less than Premier Inn. But with Premier Inn, we got more for what yeah. we paid for, and you you can tell. And the room was, in some ways, I think the Premier Inn room was nicer. They went to town on the amenities a bit more, whereas the Travel Lodge, it's literally. You want a room with a bed, you've got a room with a bed. Yeah, it's that is it. so, so basic. Uh, so we're going to munch away at this breakfast. Um, I have to um, admit, for a basic breakfast that's cost about a fiver, mm. I don't think this is too bad. It's quite full up. It, like, it they've will, given you a nice do, selection. It will do for the morning. Like I said, you, there are travel lodges which do have restaurants out there. It, this location just happens to be one that doesn't come with, so they do the breakfast box as kind of a alternative but one day we'll probably do a travel lodge we'll do one that's got a restaurant we'll do one that we can do a more in-depth review on but yeah. for the time being we're going to enjoy this enjoy and uh we'll see you a little bit later on so breakfast has now been consumed um it was it was all right it'll get you through a couple and of we hours can take these with us on the go mm -hmm. um it might be worth us finding a little cafe in the high street just to have an extra money. round up yeah yeah um, but overall, which hotel or which hotel chain do you think was worth the money more? Definitely Premier Inn. Yes. Because uh, with Premier Inn, not only was the room a little nicer, they added a few extra touches versus what Travelodge is giving you, but they offered a £25.99 add on per person, and that would cover you on site for a two course dinner, which we had main course and dessert. Mm -hmm. Get a drink with that. We obviously went with a pint of beer each, as well as the breakfast the following day. That is almost a no-brainer when you think about it. And I think really? I said earlier in the video, um, in terms of us, that video, uh, sorry, that um, dinner and breakfast combo, basically we paid for our main courses, the breakfast the following morning, and it basically gave us the drink and the dessert for free. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, um, very good value. I have to agree with you. Premium was just a lot better. The comfortability for the amenities, for uh, the deals, for meals. Now, fair enough, this one doesn't have a restaurant, but it, £5.50 for what we got, I probably wouldn't have paid that much, personally. Mm. Three fifty, four £4 at most. It is basic. It can be taken on the go if you're getting out in a hurry. Like, say, for example, you want to leave here at, say, 4 or 5 in the morning because you're catching a, you to get a taxi to Bournemouth Airport and you're flying out. On one of the six o'clock flights to Malaga or somewhere in Spain, and maybe getting that and having it on the way, or having it before you go to the airport, 
is ideal. You can literally just, you know, bomb it down because obviously you're not always going to guarantee that there'll be cafes, restaurants, or anything open. And some places are more expensive than others. Absolutely. So, in that regard, it's good. And like I said, there are some things like the flapjack. You can just take that with you on the go. It, can, like, it doesn't have to be eaten right now. Uh, I want to take time to thank both the hotels for their hospita hospitality, taking us in and letting us do what we're doing. Um, and uh, if, is there anything else you want to add to that? Mm, well, basically, yeah. I think with Travelodge versus Premier Inn, like Premier Inn's a budget hotel that gives you extra trimmings but doesn't compromise on the price. But Travelodge will literally, for the money, just give you the room. Mm. And you have a room, you know, you, it's, this would be somewhere... If you couldn't get somewhere else at a reasonable price, you could literally get a travel lodge, spend the night in the room for a bed and head on the next day. Mm -hmm. Which again, perfectly fine if that's what you need for your trip. I wouldn't recommend maybe a travel lodge for an entire week. Premier in possibly depending on the location. Yeah. I think uh, I think our decision has been made out the two Premier Inn is just the one that to go for. Uh, not to say I wouldn't try Travel Lodge again. I would if it's you know if it's available. If not, then Premier Inn I'd go for. And then obviously there's all the independent ones which come and go as they please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this Southern Nets video. We've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. It's been um, something different, and we've also been contributing to the local area because we've been staying in um, these hotels are both in our local area. So it, not only did it save us money on the transport cost, but not having to go up to say London or Southampton to shoot this. Yeah. Um, we're also supporting our local area, which is a very seasonal holiday centric area. And obviously January, February, early February, that's the downtime for them. So we've given them, kicked them an extra couple of pounds. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, follow our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. We really would appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day and thank and you And we will have more content throughout 2024. See you later on.